I, there's no doubt in my mind, it's, I've investigated narcotics for half of my career. Uh, this opioid addiction is uh, the worst addiction I've ever seen, drug-wise, without a doubt. There's no way that we're going to be able to arrest our way out of this problem. I have a unit that we focus on drug traffickers and drug distributors. At the same time, we, we come across a lot of people who abuse drugs. It's, it's inevitable. One specific incident, a young lady who we sent an undercover into a residence, we bought from the residence, so we were watching the residence. Uh, shortly after the undercover left the residence, uh, uh, we saw two males carrying a, a lifeless body of a young lady out of the house and uh, stuffing her in a car. We made contact with them. Uh, she was in a very, very poor state, blue lips, and she was administered Narcan that the officers had. And she's brought back to life. She had two young children, and she has recovered tremendously. She had an opportunity to, to hug her kids and tell them she loves them and she's got her life right. I hope that uh, I have to investigate something else in the future. I would love more than, more than anything to investigate uh, something else other than uh, the opioid epidemic uh, stroke. I don't think that there's anyone that's not affected uh, in this opioid crisis. Um, outside the scope of the actual person that's addicted. The one thing I would want people to know when watching this video is one, um, a person can't get back to the way they were. They're not the same person when they're addicted to illegal substances or legal substances that are used illegally. I can tell you in my career while in law enforcement, I've helped a lot more people than I've arrested, specifically when it comes to people who are struggling with drug abuse, we're really here to make a difference. If you have someone that's, that you think has an issue, we'd rather address the issue. It doesn't mean someone's gonna get arrested. We have things in place for people who are abusers of drugs and reach out to us and we'll, we'll be more than happy to try to get you down the road you need to get to.